doing free code camp back in development and APIs. We are in the basic node and express course and we are going to start working with an express server. So uh, basically what this is saying here is that the first two lines of our app.js file, so if we look here, app.js, or my app.js rather, uh, we can see that we are requiring express and setting that to a variable and then we are telling uh, express the function is app. That is our app. Uh, so that's basically saying that it's a easy, you can see how easy it is to create an express app object. This object has several methods. One fundamental method is app.listen on a port, which tells our app to listen on a given port. Go figure. Um, so we need, for testing reasons, we need the app to be running in a background. So we added this method to the server.js file. So this is already done for us, evidently, in our server.js. Yeah, in a real full stack project, the server.js, this is where you would do most of your setup, and it would not look entirely like this. This is basically all for their testing, hence why it says do not edit this file. Um, but this may kind of look similar in a real project and then you'll have something like this kind of going on but not with all this background stuff because that's that's free code camp. So let's serve our first string. So we're going to use the following structure app.method so app.get, app.post, app.whatever um, and then we are going to give it a path and a handler method. So the method is an HTTP method in lowercase, all right. So yeah, we're gonna need to use app.get and serve the string hello express to any git request at the matching path. So the root path, which is just always expressed as a single slash. Uh, so we are gonna res.send that response string. So this is gonna look something like, let's go into our myapp.js and then we can comment this out. This is for challenge number one. So let's go ahead and comment. Oh. Shift. Maybe command. There we go. Okay. It's a little different working in browser. So for challenge number two, we are going to simply say app.get, telling the app whenever it gets a git request at this route, the route is going to be slash, which is just our home page, our main route. We are then going to pass it a handler function. So that's what this is going to be here. So you could do it this syntax, or you can use ES6 and above syntax, which is something like this. So that's our first argument. Second will be response or request response. And then you can also, like I said, do it ES6 syntax which is how I prefer to do it. Request response, and then we're gonna respond with dot send method and then the string hello express. So response dot send hello express. So if we get any traffic on our uh, backend, which this is the backend, so really you wouldn't be getting uh, web page traffic. This would be for an API to talk to, in a real project, but for this example, we're going to be using it uh, as an actual to actually serve assets like HTML and whatnot. I imagine eventually we're going to respond with a string, and that should display. So if we stop running this, and then we run it again, and then we are on our main route, the slash, which is essentially just this URL, and then with a slash at the end, it's hidden here because modern browsers will hide that and it's uh, implied at that point but that is always going to be the home route the index route as you can see we get the string hello express so all we have to do is copy this link copy that head back here and then paste it in the solution complete the challenge so again not really how you would do this in a real full stack app you wouldn't really respond with strings you would be sending JSON back and forth because the whole point of Express is to be uh, your backend to respond with information from the database in the form of JSON. And again, this does not have to be this ES6 and above syntax. You can use a standard function like this, old school. And if we run this as well, you can see it works the exact same. So see if we copy this and then paste it in here again we complete the challenge successfully as well so that was the same thing
they just like using this old school syntax, I would recommend that if you are doing this, you get used to modern JavaScript, which is arrow functions. All right, I hope that helped. I'll see you guys in the next challenge.